Hello there YouTube. Um, I thought that today I would do a Runes of Magic review. I tried to do one before and it didn't really go very well because I did like half an hour's worth of video and then it friggin desynced with the audio. And I was like, oh god. But hey ho. I think I've got it to work properly now. I just thought I'll do it in windowed mode, that'll do it. But it seems to be running okay now. So, yeah, this is Runes of Magic. I mean, it's this character selection. I didn't, I thought I might, there's no point really me uh, doing character selection and stuff because you can, there's a couple of different people like Warrior, Mage. Or a rogue, I think, and whatever. But basically, it's a World of Warcraft clone, and it's a free World of Warcraft clone, which is even better. So, uh, and you've got basically you've got like all the World of Warcraft type features, you know, like jump. Boring, boring. Funny enough, I've never actually run it in windowed mode before. And it's actually running better than it's ever run. But I have a crappy laptop, so... <laughs> oh well, but, uh... Anyway, you've got your... You've got your jumpy jump. And you can pan right round with the camera by holding the left click. So you can look anywhere, and you can zoom in and out, obviously. And then, like, you've got your run. And you can also strafe, which is good. And he walks backwards, he walks funny. It's quite funny, actually. But, yeah. And then, like, you've got your interface screens. Like, character screen. Blah, blah, blah. I am only level 8, so please forgive me for being a complete and utter noob. Uh, and then you, you've, you've, always, you've got your basic MMORPG like screens and stuff like your backpack and stuff like your backpack and I have a crap load of potions just doing easy quests and whatnot and you get so many potions and then there's a uh, quest one which I think yeah, that's the title. That's a, that's a good one as well. The more quests you do, I think you get like you do a certain amount of certain quests, and you get a title. So you can choose, and you can choose to have that title. It's, it's, I think it's like down there where the uh, quest ones are, and then like I think high levels you get custom titles or uh, premium, I think. But yeah, so there's like you got your like equipment screen and like your stats. And then you can choose see uh, your stats for different play styles, so ranged and your defense and your magic, so you can see how much damage and stuff you do. But my guy's just a warrior, so this is my this is like just my second account, but my second character rather. But <sighs> I can hit, mm, not bad for a level eight. But it's not so much about the weapon, it's also about the combo of skills you use. So I've got like uh, all these different skills here, which it, you can get different levels and using different weapons and stuff. Some classes can't. But I also found this there's a gun skill. Ooh, you can have a gun. I didn't know that. But you get like yeah, I like you start off with just like uh, with a warrior you start off with an axe, and with a rogue you start off with a uh, daggers. But you, I think like the higher level up you get your skills, the like better weapons you can think. But it also takes level as well, so you need to have your level up quite high as well. So 
but and then there's skills, crafting skills. So I've just done a. I've only done these three to start with, but there's those, and then you, once you get those, you can actually like. You've got to be close to the production area. You can't do it like in the middle of nowhere, which is a bit annoying, but you wouldn't really be able to make a potion in the middle of a field, would you, if you if it was real. Obviously it's not, but I'm just saying. And then there's your titles, which I just said. Uh, emotes. You can do all these emotes. So if I rotate him and then just can you move the boxes? Yeah you can move the boxes. Right, and now salute. Good man. And then class list. You I think you can pick up a second class when you get to like level nine or ten. Because I've seen other people with two classes, so you could have like warrior and rogue. So you can have like the strength of a warrior and then like the agility of a rogue or something. I don't know, but because I haven't got that far, but personal experience is just like PvP, but 